Hello my lovies and welcome back to my channel. I am Miss D and today I have another collaboration with Sin City Soap and Candles. They have sent me this beautiful gift just as a commemorative of our collaboration today. This is a strawberry daiquiri soap and oh my goodness it smells so good and then of course the two little bath bombs they are just so adorable i absolutely love them you can purchase any of their uh their soaps candles body washes body um whipped body butter uh lip balm any of that in their etsy shop and that is located on their channel underneath every single one of their videos and i will link that for you down below in my description box as well Please hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed to my channel and hit the little notification bell right beside that will let you know the next time I upload a video. Follow me on all my, um, my social media, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. I keep all of those up to date. Now on with our video. Okay, so unfortunately being here in Canada, we are unable to get quite a lot of alcohol. We have a lot of antiquated laws in our country and that makes somebody such as myself quite upset. And um, I have been a certified, fully certified bartender for a number of years. I've worked kind of all over my city here in Vancouver, British Columbia and um, love serving people. I love watching people have fun in a, in a controlled environment. I mean, people get silly when they drink, of course, but um, it's fun, it's a way of letting go, and uh, I enjoy being that person that kind of adds to that little bit of a situation. So I am going to do the strawberry daiquiri, and the, um, the recipe actually calls for a strawberry schnapps. Now, because we cannot get strawberry schnapps here in Canada, I took it as a challenge and said, okay, you're gonna mess with me, I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna take that challenge and I'm gonna make it work for me. So, what I have done is taken some fresh strawberries, cut them up, and then placed them into this little baggie and then filled it up with rum let it sit for a couple of days and that rum has been infused with the strawberry flavor and let me tell you this smells absolutely amazing so now all i'm going to do is take my strainer and i've got a little pouring cup here and i will um, over top of my sink i'll just uh, pour everything in there and strain out the strawberries because we don't want any of the strawberries actually in the rum, just that flavor. So I will tilt my camera over and let you see that process. Okay, so I just have my bag of uh, strawberry and rum and I will pour that over into my little strainer here. It's a little bit of a slow process, but it gets the job done. And now these strawberries are going to be very rum infused as well. So if I wanted to eat them, <laughs> I think what I'll do is place them on a pan and freeze it for later. So here we have our pure strawberry rum ready to go for this beautiful strawberry daiquiri. Okay, so I have my strawberry rum and a two ounce measure here. So I'll just pour two ounces of the rum into my shot glass and then pour that into my martini shaker then i have a fresh lime here and i have washed it cut the ends off and then cut it in half obviously so i'll just simply place that into my press give it a good squeeze and each half is usually equal to about a half of a shot or half of an ounce so I'll use both halves 
of my lime. Press that in. Ooh, just got a little bit overzealous there. And then I will take um, some agave simple syrup. I absolutely love this stuff. It is from David's Tea. I'll link the information for this down below. But we're just going to use a, an ounce of this today. Looks like I'm running low and I need some more of it, but just love this stuff. It's pure agave and uh, so I'll just pour that in. Got my lid on here now. And of course I have a frosted uh, cocktail glass or martini glass. I'll just pour that in. It's a beautiful color of red. That looks gorgeous. Mm, it smells even better. So I will just keep this in the refrigerator, in the freezer, until I have my appetizer ready and I'll bring this back out so that we can enjoy this together. Okay, for my appetizer, I want to balance out the sweetness and the tartness of that drink and bring in a little bit of salt and savory. So I have a, um, a beautiful piece of smoked salmon here that I'm going to cut up and I have some uh, Crunch Master multi seed multi grain um, baked crackers, and these are gluten free. So, I will link their information in my description box below as well. And then um, place a little bit of Philadelphia whipped cream cheese. I love cream cheese. If this stuff didn't exist, I don't know what I would do with myself. But um, we'll just quickly go through this process and I'll let you see everything that I do. All right, so first of all, I'm just going to take some of this whipped cream cheese, place it at the end of my plastic wrap, roll it over, and put the open end into my piping bag. So that is ready, and I've got my smoked salmon, and I'll just place that onto my crackers. just put a little dab of cream cheese over to the side and then finally finish these off with either a caper or a little sprinkling of dill and if you want to get really fancy you can just cut a line down your strawberry and place it on the edge of your strawberry daiquiri and there we have sweet and savory strawberry daiquiri with a beautiful canapé thank you so much for watching i appreciate the time that you take to give me my view and um, put in a little bit of time on my channel if anything interests you here please have a look around i will link all of my other in the kitchen videos that i have here um, at the end of my video so thank you so much for your time i love each and every one of you and i look forward to seeing you in my next video